the way I'm holding it and the way I'm swinging it. Basically, I was doing everything wrong. Let's go! We were supposed to wake up at 7.30 and go to breakfast for eight. So then we've got an entire hour to eat. Uh, so then I had an hour, so then my, my coaching session is at 10. You're going to record? You're the videographer for today, yeah? Hey, can I, am I allowed to go outside? I want to be on You want some breakfast? Yes. Okay, let's roll. So I've got to meet my man at the tennis court. I hope understood 10 a.m. and not 10 p.m. Beautiful sun is out. I don't know if it's only just because I've just come out. Let's get this session on. And let's see, by the way, what can I learn from a tennis coach about running my business? Like I always say, it's like uh, pushing the ball to the side. Then from here, what we're gonna do? We're gonna contact the step. So we're gonna go down, drop down, push, and catch. So we're gonna have a little swing there, not too much, but just enough to make the ball fast. We're going to Wimbledon. Oh, yeah. Two more rounds of this. Go. I need perfect rounds, okay? So why did I want to do this tennis mission Yeah, of going on a one road year to win Wimbledon? Number one, I wanted to set a massive goal that seems totally unrealistic and even impossible to most people. Number two, I wanted to use all of my experience and my knowledge from all of the failures that I've had, all of the times where it took me too long, I tried to do it on the cheap, I didn't get coaching, I didn't get training, all of that experience, I want to put it to the test and now embark on a new journey to put all of these uh, things that I've learned to the test rather than just saying, hey, I created my success and I'm going to carry on going on the same thing. And that leads me to number three, which is I wanted to do something different. Yeah, so doing something different outside of business, property investing, money management, whatever, uh, where I've created, you know, success. I wanted to do something uh, completely different. Another thing, I wanted to go and play against the world's best, seek out the world's best, get around the world's best, study the world's best in tennis because that's what it takes in business that's what it takes in property investing you got to go seek out the best yeah i also wanted to be documenting and sharing my journey along the way because all of the things that happen from pursuing a massive dream and goal uh, are even unimaginable nobody knows what the amazing things are going to happen i know that from my own experience when i set out on on a, on a goal like it actually takes me in a totally different direction so by just going for something so huge something that takes a lot of discipline i wanted to sharpen my discipline but i also want to record and document and share along the way with everybody that what positive things can come out not just from pursuing a goal but all the adversity all of the challenges all of the difficulties that i've had so far even in this short journey of pursuing uh professional tennis and playing at wimbledon <sighs> mate one hour I didn't have my calorie uh, watch on well question is what did i learn about business from a tennis coach. I play tennis, obviously I have a tennis court back home. Now just as I thought, I got some bad habits. These bad habits are the way I'm holding it and the way I'm swinging it. Basically I was doing everything wrong. 
Uh, we only practiced uh, forehand and backhand in this hour. He said we did cover a lot. Uh, I'm still not comfortable with the grips. So I kept going back to my old grip, and this is what happens. Yeah, that's what happens in my business. You know, I learn new marketing strategies or sales or like uh, business systems, anything to do with strategy. Yeah, I just want to bang it out of the gate as quickly as possible. And I tell you something, every time I was trying to smash the ball, we are just going out. And then the coach was like, hey, look, let's just focus on getting the ball in, slow it down. Yeah, but only when I was slowing it down and following the principles that he just taught me. Only when I was slowing it down and I was uh, holding the racket the right way and there was, a st there was a beginning position to start with the racket. There was a middle uh, part, which is the swing. And then there was also a uh, last part, which creates the top spin on the ball. I mean, this guy's obviously a good tennis player. I can see that. So this tells me in business, I've got to have a coach. Yeah, right now I've got three people coaching me on different areas. One on like coaching, business, one on mindset, uh, and one purely on uh, business mentoring, mm -hmm. which is around property development, property investing, and uh, growing a business to 100 million. So I've got to follow the principles with notification. Yeah, where it drops off or it's not important or people kind of try to make small talk of it, things just uh, go down the pan. Yeah, so that's the lesson, guys strategy follow it follow the steps because that is the only way that you're gonna go to the next level in your business so as always always do the right thing for the right reason because that's the only way you're gonna discover your true potential